Valencia and it's super excited to show you the city. city in Spain. It's located on, the, uh, located on the east coast just between Barcelona and Cartagena where we were last time. So if you haven't seen the vlog check it out up here. Um, we are super excited to, to explore it. Mohammed has seen so much about it. I've been here but it's been so long so I can't really remember much and I also didn't get to see much. Um, we don't have much time here, so we'll just focus on doing whatever we can see for free around here. Gonna walk this around the kind of the science area, the modern area, which Valencia is probably most known for. And then we're gonna stroll over to the old town, which is my favorite. <laughs> We are in the Garden of Astronomy. It's actually really cool. It's like a interactive museum, all for free, where you can learn about the solar system, how to measure distance in the sky, and so on. So really, really cool. My favorite hair. Give me a second, I'm gonna show it to you. It's the moon. Look. So cool. So, this is the side of the moon that we see from Earth. And this is the side of the moon that we don't see. Pretty awesome, isn't it? It's the moon is so, so cool. <laughs> you are so excited. <laughs> is the famous science museum in Valencia where you can see everything that has to do with science, the evolution of life and so on. Um, even though you're on a completely budget trip and you don't want to spend any money, it's such a cool area just to walk around, take pictures and see from the outside. Um, there are also little boats and paddle boards and stuff you can rent out there if you don't want to go for a paddle on this little lake. It looks really nice. <laughs> and we're gonna have some lunch! Some lunch because this beautiful view is deserved. Yeah, it's, deserved it's a like pretty cool view. Appetizing. <laughs> So we got some vegan cream cheese, yeah. cucumber, and, and orange juice, and some bread that bread. actually looks pretty healthy. <laughs> Too bad. The city of arts and science, guys, it's actually really fascinating. This is one of the coolest playgrounds I've ever seen. I really wanted to come here for a few years, actually. Uh, it's, uh, if you see closely, it's a huge 
huge statue of Gulliver from Gulliver's Travels. If you ever read that book as a child, then you know you have to come here. But anyway, as you can see, he's laying there and it's full of slides and fun things to climb on and things. And I really want to go. <laughs> Okay, we got a bit too excited, so actually we came down here just to test out the slide maybe. Let's... important to see their inner child sometimes, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> As you can tell, normal playgrounds, the parents sit and watch the kids play. Here, the parents are playing with the kids and other big kids like us just <laughs> themselves to have fun. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> that was cool! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> this is a really cool park for being free. They've got clean toilets, they have a medical room in case of injury, and they have two guys that actually are working here and guarding the place to make sure that uh, nothing happens. So it's Really, really cool. I would not expect this to be for free. On this exact same spot, it was an old wooden bridge centuries ago. It stood here forever. It was connecting the city with the port. But in 1591, there was a huge flood here which took the, the, the bridge. So after that they built this bridge, which is called Puente la Mar, and to be honest, it's absolutely stunning.
the Cathedral of Valencia is just stunning. We somehow managed to get inside without trying to sneak inside. We actually just walked straight in and it's not free, so we shouldn't be in there. But for some reason, I don't know, maybe because they're just we're about to close or something, but we managed to get a really nice peek in there. It's so stunning. Um, it's, uh, it's, they started building it in the 13th century and it's actually said that they have the original Holy Grail in there, which is pretty amazing. Whether that's true or not, who knows? second lunch before we head back to the van. That was what we had time for this time in Valencia. I really hope you enjoyed it. It's such a beautiful city and definitely worth the visit. So now we are actually headed up to Sitges where we're gonna meet a friend. We're gonna have some friend, friend's time and uh, chill and then I assure you we will make a vlog from Sitges too. See you there. Adios.